All right, just got back out of Best Buy. Got a new 27-inch uh, iMac for another video editor that's going to be helping in DJ a lot. Nope. But I buy a lot of i5s and i7s, and this is a perfect example of the state of our industry because agents are the same way. I was buying an i5. I bought like 15 i5s, 20, 20, 20 computers from Best Buy like this year probably in like, in like five months. And th they just raised the price on Sunday. And the lady said, "Hey, I, I said, hey, I normally pay 550 for this. It's it's 600 bucks, you know. So I'm sure you 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 may have, you may have to get manager approval or whatever. But and uh, assuming that I would get what I wanted, she said, well, I don't know, you know, that's uh, the prices go up on Sundays, you know. Um, so I don't know if we'll be, I, don't, I don't know. I, I don't, you know, you would have had to like bring in a receipt or something like that. And I'm like, you know, look me up. I bought tons of computers. I said, hey, you know, talk talk to your manager, you know." I've paid, he'll know me, I guarantee you. I've paid 550, I've paid 550 like a dozen times this year. I just bought four on Saturday, like it'll happen. But if I would have assumed, if I would have assumed that, or, or if I would have stopped at whatever she said first, which was, which was, hey, you know, probably not gonna happen. Like they have raised the price on Sunday, like you have to bring in a receipt and stuff. If I would have just said, oh, okay, well, but she gave me an objection. How did I handle it? I can't preach for you guys to overcome objections and ignore what people say if I'm going to go to Best Buy and like take an objection. I told her what I expected to happen and I didn't stop until it happened. The manager came over and said, hey, you know, what, what's going on? I said, I said you, you probably recognize me, you know, I bought a bunch of i5s, I normally pay 550. He said, okay, cool, no worries. Like, but, but I assumed it was going to happen. We have to ask I, and you have to ask more than once. You have to, like, you're going to get objections. And the state of our industry is that, and that's, that's the title of this video, 92% of agents fail. The state of, our, state of our industry is that agents don't know what they're doing. So, that's the only reason we do content. So many agents fail because they do not know what they're doing. When you get objections, when someone says, I'm not interested, when someone says, hey, I didn't do that, we know they did. Or when someone says, hey, I already have coverage. You're, you're like, okay, sorry. And you, you're like, oh, the leads are horrible. Gosh darn it, you know. And you, some vendors suck. Some vendors are horrible. Some vendors are unethical. Some vendors you don't want to deal with. When you get not interested, when you get, you know, hey, I didn't do this. When you get, you know, hey, I already have coverage. Continue. Act like they didn't say it. Agree with them and continue. Ask them something. Assume something. They say, hey, I already have coverage. You know, fantastic. There's some new things that we're going to make sure we get you information on. I know a callback's fine, so would you prefer that our agent call you back on Tuesday or Wednesday? You know, assume every step of the way. The reason agents fail is they don't know what they're doing. The state of our industry is that our industry is getting worse because, because you're letting objections get in the way of you being successful. 95% of, you know what, it's higher than that, but we'll just say that. 95% of what they say, they don't actually mean. When they say I'm not interested, when they say I already have coverage, when they say I don't wanna do this, it doesn't matter. Whatever they say, whatever they do, ignore it. Continue on. Get, you have an objection, you have a mission, you have a goal. When you make calls, you're wanting something to happen. So whatever you're expecting to happen, make sure that happens. The state of our industry sucks because agents believe that what everyone is saying is legit, what everyone is saying is true, and then when they get objections, when they get, I'm not interested, I already have coverage, all these different things, you're believing. You're believing lies is what you're believing. They don't really mean it. Find good vendors, find people you can trust, find ethical vendors. You know, there's a lot of vendors that are just, won't give you good leads. But when you get leads and you know that this is an ethical vendor and that people are actually responding and they're not just giving you crap or giving you leftovers or sharing leads or whatever, then it's on you from an Asia perspective to make sure that the state of our industry doesn't continue to suck. Let's be real with ourselves. Let's ignore what people say and let's get done what we need to get done. When they say something, ignore it, continue. They don't really mean they're not interested. They don't really, they may already have coverage, that's fantastic. I prefer leads that already have coverage. Continue on, find good vendors to do business with, 
and then make sure that, because half of it's on the vendor, the other half is on you. When you get a lead in your hand, if you don't make, if you don't get appointments and you don't make sales, it is your fault. When I call our leads, if I don't get an appointment or if I don't get a sale, it was my fault. I didn't role play well enough. I wasn't sharp enough. I wasn't quick enough. It is on you. For you to be successful, start to realize that, hey, maybe I shouldn't make excuses and blame other people. Maybe it's actually your fault.